Welcome to my video. To get new educational videos and updates, please subscribe to my channel. I'd be very grateful if you could please like and share this video, which I hope will give you a beneficial knowledge. Measuring intraocular pressure is an essential part in ophthalmic examination. The gold standard is Goldman Applination Tonometer, but it involves touching the cornea and spending some time with the patient to measure it. So first you have to put local anesthetic eye drops together with fluorescein and some patients feel this is not very comfortable for them. Uh, you have to look through one of the oculars of the slit lamp and adjust the semicircular wires then see the weight that you are putting and then you can measure the intraocular pressure. The patient needs to be cooperative and you see the smires under the high magnification. Once they are touching from inside um, you can see the dial of the force and then you can measure the intraocular pressure. It depends on imperfect principle. If the semicircles are far, you have to go forward or backwards. And if they are not semicircles, you have to go up and down. And sometimes they are very broad, you have to adjust the fluorescein. And this is the ideal in the middle. And you have to keep the joystick of the uh, slit lamp to the back to do fine adjustments and the tono safe is very essential during the pandemic because you don't need to clean the um, prism of the tonometer so you just discard it and it is disposable cone and prism and you calibrate the machine as well before using So I recommend that during the pandemic, but we need safer and quicker methods. So the air puff is micro aerosol generating and the patients don't like it. Most of them are frightened of this air puff. The tonal pen as well needs anesthetic and patients feel that it is not comfortable. So the rebound tonometer is the ideal, in my opinion, during the pandemic. Doesn't need anesthetic, the patient can blink. It is very quick and safe, it takes about 10 seconds to do the measurements. No anesthetic needed. This rebound tonometer is working by generating a magnetic field from the movement of the probe rebounding from the eye and then we can indirectly estimate the intraocular pressure. So the probe is put inside the machine and there is a pulse generator which makes the pulses of the probe. Then this movement is detected and the signal is analyzed so if the pressure is high there is fast movement of the probe and if the pressure is low there is slow movement of the probe and then we can read the measurements there is an article that is describing this uh, tonometers in details and how reliable is it? It is very re reliable um, and during the pandemic it is very safe and to correlate it with the Goldman Applanation Tonometer it is around 2 to 2.5 uh, millimeters mercury less so simply you can add 
uh, 2.5 on any measurement and then you can get the Goldman Applanation Thermometer uh, measurement roughly. There is another um, models of this thermometer that the patient can use it at home and this will save the patient visit and during the pandemic it is very safe as well to depend on the home monitoring to measure with the eye care rebound tonometer you have to put the rest band around your wrist and this will prevent falling of the machine this is the navigation button and this machine has to be held horizontally this is the headrest and the headrest button you adjust it according to the prominence of the forehead of the patient and this is the probe base and light this is the navigation button and this is the measure button and you take the disposable single use probes You open the machine and press on the measure button and there is a display this is the display this is the IC100 model and now on the display it is there is a loading message then you can put the probe inside the probe base now there is a red color because the position is not correct but if you hold it horizontally it will give you the green color then you can yeah here is the green color if you move down it will give red again and now it is green so now you can measure correctly you have to be horizontal and 90 degrees on the eye like this position now you adjust the headrest on the patient and the color of the base is green so you can measure and you can keep pressing and if it is far or near it will give you a red color so you can adjust yourself and you have to hold it horizontally and keep pressing and you can see on the display if it is too far or too near and then it gives you average of six readings after you finish you press on the navigation button and then you put the probe in the sharp pin now we have another model IC200 that you can measure while the patient is supine and it doesn't need to be horizontal. This is essential if the patient is in the ICU or, or disabled patients or very young patients. Advantages are a lot. It is very hygienic, it is very easy to be used and comfortable for most of our patients free from air puff or anesthetic or other preparations there is very low risk of cross contamination during the pandemic doesn't create micro aerosol formation so less coronavirus transmission single used probes are very safe suitable for most patients very young very old and post surgery in my opinion it is the ideal solution during the pandemic and in our virtual clinics as well. Special thanks to Tippin, Vinit and Marie. Thank you very much for watching.